A secondary domain, formerly called add-on domains, are when you have different groups of staff and you decide, hey, we've got this other brand and we want this person to use this brand as their primary email address. I was wondering how I can give my secondary domain its own email. Okay, that's a good one. If you want to set up a secondary email address, you head along to your admin panel and you go to the domains menu and there is a manage domains page. And you'll see here, I've got a number of different domains that are set up here. When I add a new domain, I've got a couple of different options. A secondary domain, uh, which used to be called an add-on domain, allows you to create different email addresses across different domains. So if I set up a second domain here, itgenius.ca, there we go. I can set up that secondary domain and I can set up email addresses using that secondary domain. I can even set up aliases under my account using that secondary domain. Cool. Now, if I set up a user alias domain, everyone in the company automatically gets an alias. So everyone will use the primary domain in the business, but every single person will get this .ca domain as well as a backup. Now, the upside of this option is the convenience. If you just want one that is an alias for everyone, like .com.au, we no longer use. But some of my customers from forever ago might still email me at .com.au, right? Now, I've got 60 people in the company, so I don't wanna to have to go and set up an alias for every single user and every new user that I add. If one of my customers doesn't know that we're on .com and you know, they're in Australia and they think Australia is the center of the universe and they type in .com.au when they type in an email address, it just automatically adds that email address to every one of my users. Convenience is the main reason you would use a alias domain. A secondary domain, formerly called add-on domains, are when you have different groups of staff and you decide, hey, we've got this other brand and we want this person to use this brand as their primary email address. So there you would use that. Maybe, you know, I've got itgenius.com, but I've also got uh, onsitehelper.com. So that's one of our subsidiaries. Right now they're in a separate Google Workspace account, but if we decided to consolidate those into one account, we would add that as an add-on domain. So people can sign in and use this as their primary mailbox. It's called a secondary domain, but they, this user, as far as that user is concerned, it's a primary domain for that user. Now, where is that helpful? Well, you can't send a calendar invite from an alias. You can send an email from an alias, but you can't send a calendar invite from an alias. So if someone is truly wanting their brand for their user account to be that second domain, you would use a secondary domain. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.